Hey, Phil Got Memories here. Okay, so I've got a CD um, that I'm part of a DVD job, DVD to uh, uh, USB, turn everything MPEG-4 from video, TF, video TS files, VOB files. So this particular disc here, look at this. This is, again, when I talk about my videos, but the bin, do not put these discs in here because these labels, look at it. It's not offset. I had one yesterday. I got a video, and when it got stuck, I had to take the whole laptop apart, pry everything open. Be really careful putting these discs in all players, especially if the adhesive has come off. This is from 2002, 2006. Okay, so this particular, in this video here, okay, I've opened up this folder, and it's a video CD, VCD, okay? And when you open it, it's just got all these weird extensions, .vcd. This is like old 1990s stuff. I don't know why the hell, but this one here, avsequence.dat, um, nothing's readable, okay? So... For times like this, I use a program called iSkySoft, which is a paid download. Um, God, I think, God, it's like a hundred bucks or something like that. Um, and uh, let's have a look here, video CD. So I've copied everything from the drive, oh, sorry, off the disc onto the hard drive so it's gonna easily access it. So if anything can decode this crap, it's gonna be this program here. So let's give it a whirl. Say a prayer to the ice guy soft gods. Loading file. That's not good when it's taking that long. Because normally it'll just go. Oh, shit! Six minutes. Okay, so I'm going to export it. 480p. It's less than that anyway. 640, 480 original. So that's exactly what it's going to go to. Merge all videos. And... Yeah, it's going to convert it. So that's the thing with all of these discs. They've all got very obscure file formats, file structures, especially these authored DVDs from like production companies, you know, kids' pl theater plays, all this stuff. And if it's scratched, you've got to make a duplicate in the duplicator. If they're on crappy discs, like all these shitbox companies use really cheap DVDs like this. And I'll show you the difference between quality a quality grade a disc which only i've ever used is the beginning of time top notch quality disc yes you pay extra but it's more compatibility more scratch resistant and um it just plays on everything versus these other things that they so you can tell the quality of a disc by the deepness of the purple i don't know if that's making that out there but look at it's hard to kind of tell in this light um what's uh see here um yeah there we go you can see the difference there in the purple this is a just a really shitty um faded these discs fade they scratch so easily and all of these shit box companies all of these companies here use crappy discs legacy box south tree kodak digitizing all the same shitty company i memories again they're all kind of sweatshop chop shops they're not watching anything not monitoring anything hourly employees hiring and firing they're on craigslist offering 14 bucks an hour to anybody with a with a heartbeat to come on in and now get their hands on your precious home movies and it is a laundry list of things that they're just all of these companies this stuff is old it's deteriorating the players are old it has to be watched by eyeballs by a pro with a head and a heart and knows what the hell they're doing making sure all the files come back from the right disk to the right folder to the right folder for the customer to the right download link everything detailed ocd on crack but without the crack ocd with 10 tons of caffeine which i have in me right now if you can't tell so look here we go where the hell did this export to converted okay converted here we go av sequence merge brilliant So this is like a slideshow of the Girl Scout troops and stuff. And I tell you, all of these discs, none of these companies do these discs. And this is what happens when they'll get a disc and they open it and they go, Ooh, what's this? Ooh. I know it's VCD, video CD. I know the extension files. I know the programs that you've got to use. All these different weird and wonderful programs. And there's a billion of them out there in the app store. 
98% of them are shit. At loaded with ads, malware, you get downloading viruses, you get it back in the file that looks all pixelated and crap. And I've been through all of this over 20 plus years of pulling my goddamn hair out and figuring out this matrix here. Um, and I do, you know, the reason I have this channel is to raise the consumer awareness and also the standards in this industry, which is atrocious in America. It's bad in other countries, but it's so bad here because there's greedy, you know, what's out there that are corporations and they're just feeding, you know, like dividends and just all that gross corporate crap screwing over America and, um, you know, screw the customer, collect the money. Hey guys, boardroom meeting. We just made some money by effing everybody over. And it's really sick when it's at home movies and stuff. But that's why I'm making this channel, constantly making videos, consumer awareness. So people are not giving their money to all these shitty companies that are giving back all their stuff getting back all this stuff six months later with red stickers all over him saying, we can't touch your stuff, it's gone bad. And then when I get it in, it all plays perfectly fine. And they've kept the money and they fight the chargebacks and they win. So anyway, if you are shopping around, nobody's going to go to these extents. They're going to go, sorry, but hey, it's your kids, you know, Girl Scout.